The Arab League has held a meeting in Cairo and called on the United Nations to take measures against Assad's regime for its alleged use of chemical weapons against civilians on the 21st of August. The group said it holds the Syrian government fully responsible for all the chemical attacks and are asking that the perpetrators be internationally tried. Their resolution strongly condemns the use of chemical weapons and says it defies international norms. However, the Arab League warns that only the United Nations should have the authority to permit the use of force. The U.S. is claiming it has strong evidence proving Assad's regime responsible for the chemical attacks, which killed more than 1,000 civilians. Obama is currently waiting for Congress's approval of a limited isolated strike on Syria. Saudi Foreign Minister Al Faisal has criticized all Arab countries for not being able to solve the Syrian crisis without international aid, saying the failure illustrates their lack of ability to see it through themselves. Syria's two-and-a-half-year-old conflict has taken over 100,000 lives. Assad's government denies any involvement in the chemical attacks, but neither the U.S. nor the Assad regime has presented proof in public to back up their allegations.